Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the all too familiar Woodside, California. We're gonna be doing another drive. Um, I found this mountain on like Apple Maps, Google Maps. So <laughs> I don't know, I think I've said this before, but I basically find a windy road by just going on Google Maps or Apple Maps and is looking for a little, literally just windy roads. And if I see it, I'm like, okay, let me go check it out. So I found this one, it's called King's Mountain Road. Um, it goes up to Skyline Boulevard. It looked kind of windy and it looked decent. I mean, I've, again, I've never done it. I've just seen it all over, like, you know, from a map and it looks really windy. So we'll go check it out. So we'll do Kings Mountain Road and then make a right on Skyline and head towards um, San Mateo, Half Moon Bay. We'll do something like that. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful day. I think this yesterday, so today's Sunday. Yesterday was about like 72 degrees where I live in the East Bay and today it's like 68 degrees in Woodside, California. I don't know if it's spring or winter. Like, did they already check the chipmunk or... Um, squirrel, not, not squirrel, it is um, a groundhog, groundhog day. I, I don't know what the groundhog told everyone, but maybe it's spring, I don't know, but it's really nice today. But it's raining tomorrow, so this is like the best time to uh, shoot a video. And then let me just wait for this fire truck to pass. But um, yeah, today we're the RC350. Let's do a quick walk around, then we'll start this drive. So, I just washed it yesterday, but I haven't really done much. Same old car. It's just clean, with like fresh tire shine. And I guess now you can see the brakes a little bit better. So that's the complete look right there. Because the lighting in the other video wasn't that good, but there you go, that's the, that's the complete look. I've gotten compliments with it, so people like it. I like it, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you guys see this, but I had bugs all over the front of the car, so I just used a quick detailer to clean it up, so excuse the, uh, whatever you want to call it, soap stains or chemical stains, but whatever. But yeah, this is the car. All right, let's get started with this drive. Hopefully it's not too busy. It's like a, uh, a side road, so I don't think it's gonna be too busy, but we will find out. road is literally so this is highway 84 la honda road if you keep going straight you'll get to la honda road but this road called king's mountain road if i remember where are you going please don't come in the middle of the lane <laughs> uh but yeah king's mountain road it's you make a right somewhere you know either look at the map or read the signs i don't really remember it would be funny if i make a mistake Should be the next one. It is, yeah, Kings Mountain. Okay, cool. Woodside store, historical landmark. But um, yeah, this weekend didn't really do much. We're just cleaning the house. We had some renovation, so we had to clean up all the dust and stuff after the, uh, you know, the contractors and whatnot did their did their work. But um, this was interesting. Me and my dad, we went to uh, a Lexus dealership near my home, and he was just looking at um, new ESs or RZ 300s because he has an ES, but he has like a year and a half left on. I've, I've showed it on the video, the 2022, the Iridium, Iridium ES hybrid. He's got like a year and a half left, but he's like, let's just go look for look at cars for fun, see what you know we can get. Um, but yeah, he was looking at his cars, and I was asking the salesperson, I'm like, I saw you guys have an IS500 because I'm looking at buying an IS500. I'll trade this and get an IS500 just to get a V8. And I asked the salesperson, I'm like, you guys still have that IS500? It was a white and black. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, great. How much is it? And she's like, well, I don't remember off the top of my head. I think it's 67 or 68,000 MSRP, but they have an $8,000 markup on top of it. And I'm like, hell no, I'm not gonna pay a markup for an IS500. I'd pay a markup for an RCF. Like if it was a true F car, for sure, I'd pay a markup. I'm not paying it for 
like an IS with a V8. I don't know. That's just me. But that's... I don't know. I, I just wouldn't pay a markup for an IS 500. It's a cool car. I get it. But yeah, I wouldn't pay a markup. That's a cool store. Once we get to the windy bits, I'm going to try um, like manual mode. I never use it. And I'm like, okay, I always leave it in auto. I'm like, let's maybe try something different, you know? The roads have been narrow. And I have no experience, so again, I'm just I'm not pushing it as hard as I normally would. But yeah, roads are extremely narrow. That guy can't stay in his lane, holy shit. Okay, first impressions. Really narrow roads, really technical, and a lot of a lot of bikes. That's why I'm not <laughs> I'm not really talking too much because I'm trying to focus on the road because it's really narrow, and um, I have no experience whatsoever on this road. I thought this would be a little bit more exciting, but it's all good. We're going to be going to Skyline anyways, so it'll be a bit more fun. I mean, this is fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's fun. It's just a bit um, sketchy. Road quality is not the greatest here as well.
extremely narrow. Damn. It narrows even more. That's perfect. All right, just gonna get out of here. I don't wanna mess with the gears right now. I guess if you're in a motorcycle, this would be a bit more fun. Because, you know, motorcycles can take corners a lot quicker than a car, or faster than a car would be a better way to say it. Plus the narrow road doesn't really matter to them. heard that that was my tires complaining <laughs> I'll say the road, like in general, the uh, scenario, the scenery is beautiful. The road is just extremely narrow. Skyline Boulevard's coming up, so we'll just turn onto that.
know what's funny is people park on like dirt roads when it rains a lot like the ground gets saturated like are they not worried that their car is just gonna like slide down <laughs> i don't know that's what i'd be worried about like if i park on like a dirt road a lot of fog over the um or in the summer so like in the evening you can't really see sunsets on the coast because um did an inversion there's some like meteor the meteorological thing where cold ocean water warm air temperature creates fog i believe something like that and the oceans here are really cold things like 50 60 degrees so it's not the best water to swim in really disappointed with this video <laughs> oh, it's a bummer I'm a bit disappointed honestly uh, not that I'm stuck behind traffic um I guess the road okay the road was nice it's just I would have you know liked to have gone a little bit faster but the road was extremely narrow the corners were really um, technical or tight whatever you want to call it so I couldn't push as much but a bit disappointing. I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't do Kings Mountain Road again. I wouldn't do it again. That's for sure. I'll stick to my my go tos. <laughs> but um, yeah. That, I guess the issue that I'm having right now is that I'm running out of roads in the peninsula or East Bay. So I guess my only option is to go to the North Bay. But the reason why I haven't really gone to the North Bay is just it's far from my house. It's about an hour one way just to go to like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Sausalito, Tiburon, things like that. Napa is, I think, an hour and a half. So it's a bit far, but I may have to make that trek because I'm just, you know, I'm running out of roads around here. And uh, I mean, I could take other cars on the same roads, but I don't want to bore you guys, you know? So I don't know, maybe leave it in the comments. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer like unique roads or would you rather see different cars on the same roads um i know i haven't shown the integra in a while but next video i do want to take the integra it's been a while since i've you know driven that car on like a windy road so i do want to take the integra um but yeah i'm in a bit of a conundrum i guess if i want to use a fancy word i don't know what to do in terms of videos and no i'm not losing motivation it's just i'm running out of roads to really drive on um, an area as close to my home, and I guess I seem to make that trek, you know, really far away. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes in the next video for sure. I'm just gonna pull over at that scenic viewpoint that I, I stopped at last time when I did the Skyline video in this car, I think last, December, last December? Um, there's like a little viewpoint I'm gonna stop at. SF from here. See that? All the tall, tall buildings right there? That's SF. It's a really beautiful day today. I 
I think this is where I did my thumbnail, actually. I took a thumbnail right in this corner. But yeah, that is the city by the bay right there. Literally 12 o'clock. And then Pacific Ocean to my left. I don't know. I don't think I... And I'm just slowing down because I want to take this corner a little bit fast, but... I don't think I want to leave the Bay Area. It's very expensive here, but it's just, it's so beautiful, you know? Oh, that was it. That was all the fun we could have. <laughs> I tried, guys. Julia, I love Julia's, they look amazing. The reliability scares me. <laughs> I don't I don't think I could. I mean No, you know what? No, I wouldn't even lease it. I I've read on Reddit, I was actually looking, just just curious. You know, Julia reliability. And on Reddit, I think before 2018 or 2019, I'm forgetting what, what it was, but they said those uh, model years are a bit um iffy in terms of reliability. So I don't know. I mean, it's an amazing looking car. It's just... Alfa Romeo is not known for reliability, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, that will wrap up the video, guys. Um, I don't know. I, I think I will publish this because it's been a while and I don't... I don't really know where else I could go for a drive today. I mean, I'd have to look at the map. I think I will publish this honestly like I don't feel <laughs> it doesn't feel right to me to publish a video like this because it wasn't like you know I didn't push the car as hard as I would like but I hope you guys enjoy the video uh, when I go home I'm gonna think about it I'll be like should I publish this like I'll rewatch it let me let me see but yeah anyways guys that will wrap up the video today thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you and I hope to see you all in the next one